This thing right here is worth over half a million dollars and you're coming with me. Why don't we really put this thing to work? You're driving, buddy. Oh, God. They're the Ferrari of the grooming world. Hey guys, B Snappy here. Today, we're at the top of Whistler Mountain in Canada. We're about to look inside a brand new Piston Bully Snowcat. And to show us through it, we have one of the long-standing fleet mechanics. G'day, Andrew. How you doing, buddy? How should we start? Well, we got a bunch here out in the yard, but maybe we should take a look inside the shop because we got one opened up right there. So this is the Whistler Alpine maintenance facility. This is where we look after all our snow cats, snowmobiles. Brand new winch cat. So before you give us a look inside, how much do these actually cost? Well, one of these winch cats can cost north of $500,000. They're the Ferrari of the grooming world. So can you tell us like the power of this machine and what they're actually capable of? So this machine is powered by a Cummins X12. Uh, it's an inline six cylinder, um, yep. has a ton of horsepower and torque. And then that motor powers up to seven hydraulic pumps. The hydraulics is what does all the work with this machine. This is our rear implement. Uh, it's our um, Alpine Flex Tiller. And basically its job is to grind up and process all the ice and snow. Um, it actually is heated a little bit and then smooths flat with our uh, pressure combing at the back here. So that's what's leaving the nice uh, corduroy lines in all the snow. Andrew's been doing this for 15 years, so he knows everything back to front. I can't hold off any longer. Can we get a look inside one of these? Absolutely. I got another brand new winch cat outside that's ready to go. Oh, okay, let's, let's go. Let's check it out. Brand new. Andrew's about to take us for a drive in the latest Piston Bully 600. So this is the driver's seat, Andrew. Yeah, you got it. So how are you going to drive if I'm in the driver's seat? You're driving, buddy. Oh, God. You hear that? I'm going to be driving a half a million dollar machine. But it is under supervision. I'm going to let you drive. Oh, but okay. we're going to have to give you some safety instructions yeah. first and I'm going to be keeping an eye on you. What we're in right now is a 600 stick cat. Yeah. Um, we have steering wheel cats and stick cats. So the two sticks on your left hand side there, that's our directional control. Yeah. And then we have a gas pedal down there. Yep. Stick cats work just like a skid steer, where if both sticks are forward, we're gonna go forward. So why don't you go ahead, we'll take the brake off. Now yep. go ahead and push both of those sticks forward. Yeah. Perfect. And then eyes ahead, we're gonna slowly advance on the throttle pedal until the machine starts moving. Go ahead. Oh, I'm driving a snow cat. <laughs> Good work. So in front of you here, we have our 12-way blade. That blade does a lot of the work for this groomer. Where the tiller is chopping up all the snow and making the nice lines behind us. So, yeah, oh, you're doing great. You're all good. With our 12-way blade here, it's operated by this joystick. Now this joystick is like the crown jewel of these snow cats. And what I tell people when I'm training them is to pretend like you're a superhero and you're mighty hand is just on top of the blade so grab that joystick yep and i want you to just ever so slightly twist your hand right or left and see what happens oh now, the pressure sensors inside that joystick are very sensitive yeah so now if you were to just roll your wrist forward let's see what happens oh well, now the blade's going forward it sure is And that's how we would adjust our depth of cut or how much bite the blade is gonna take out of the snow. We can also tilt it left and right. Why don't you try that? that? And we have our two side wings available for us to use. Yeah. So at the front of the joystick, you're gonna feel three buttons. And if you press the number three button, yeah. And hold that down. Yeah. And then operate the blade up. See what happens. Oh, wow. Yeah. And the last two functions are the blade up and down in general. And that's no buttons and just pulling the whole assembly back. I can't believe I'm doing this. Why don't we really put this thing to work? All right. Well, let's activate the tiller. 
and put it down into the snow. If you look behind us, you'll see it lowering. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And now we're ready to groom. So are the till teeth working right now? As soon as you step on the throttle, and if you look on the screen here, yeah. you'll see corduroy start coming out of that tiller. Okay. Give it a try. So if you see the corduroy, that means that those shafts are spinning like crazy. And now we're processing the snow and leaving lines of corduroy behind us. Good work, you're natural. Okay, well, let's build a giant snow pile. Okay. Oh, this thing's got some power. Oh god! Whoa, high up! <laughs> Gonna see if we can smash this pile down here. Here oh. we go! Oh god! Oh. Man, this thing has some power! Doesn't take long! Yeah! So Andrew, this is a winch cat. What is this primarily used for? So our winches are designed uh, to bring our big massive blade fulls of snow up ski runs and for us to be able to groom really steep terrain. Is, it, is the winch actually pulling you up the hill or is it just to be a standby anchor to help you not roll? Its main primary job is to assist the machine coming up steep terrain when we have a big giant blade full of snow. Uh, this wow. one is rated for 4.6 ton, what? so it has a lot of pulling force. It's uh, equipped with an 11 millimeter cable, and there is over a kilometer of cable on the drum. Okay, these are all the winch controls here. Yeah. Anything in blue. And we have one button for the boom to head clockwise and one for counterclockwise. Yeah. So it's pretty simple to get it point it to where you want it to go. Once the winch is actually active yeah. and we're in working mode, the winch will always want to point to where the anchor is. So even if I turn the machine around, it'll freewheel and always want to point to the anchor. Andrew, you have really made my experience to Canada awesome by driving one of these things. Oh, my pleasure. I was happy to help. I'll never forget this. If you're coming to Canada, you must come to Whistle Black Home. And you gotta come ski these beautiful runs that the Snow Groomer team put together for us.